Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy. I'm a professional astrologer. You can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com, Facebook, Dorothy Morgan Astrologer. Come find me there for your own personal and private sessions. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to talk to you who are Aquarius or Aquarius rising for the month of June. So June 2nd, the full moon in Sagittarius is in your solar 11th house. So that is your ruling house, no matter what your chart looks like. That's the house Aquarius is in charge of, and we have a full moon in there. It's going to inspire you to be more creative, inspire you to possibly take charge when it comes to groups, things that are all about social social endeavors and, and social changes, shifts that need to happen in society. When we have a full moon, that always represents a personal relationship or the balance in your relationship. So if you're spending too much time alone, as Aquariuses can do, this is an opportunity to get out and get into a group environment where you can be of better service. It's not necessarily about yourself, but we need to, we need to be an individual within the dynamic of a group. And when we have a full moon in that 11th house, this is an opportunity for you to do that. It's also a great opportunity for you to see where you're a little stuck because that 11th house represents, you know, our hopes and dreams and setting goals and new th and, and things for our future. But it's a full moon, so that's about letting go. So where are you stuck? It's also a good opportunity for you to release old ideas about, that was my New England accent kicking in there, <laughs> old ideas about <laughs> where, where you need to be and the goals that you have set. If things aren't working, it's time for you to release some of those thoughts and ideas that are really stuck in your Aquarius head, okay? I know you guys, you guys can get really a fixed air, you guys get stuck on one idea, and it's awful hard for you to, to work your way out of it. So be aware of that, release something if you need to, all right? Now, let's move on to June 5th. Venus moves into the sign of Leo in your solar 7th house. That just means that relationships have been on your mind, all right? And I say that because Jupiter has been in Leo for almost a year now in your 7th house of partnerships and relationships. Typically, these are the love relationships at 7th house, but they can at times represent business partnerships. So you have to decide which it is for you. But Venus is moving in there, will be in that seventh house for the next three, three and a half weeks from June into July. And so while it does move through there, you can be very creative, be very expressive, love, love, love. Venus in Leo is passionate and is all about bringing beautiful things to us. It's, it's the great hot, warm sun. It's flashy jewelry. It is all about treating your partner well or you wanting to be treated well by your partner. All right, and then if you two are passionate about something, you can do that together. If you need to reignite your passion in your relationship, you can do that too. So these are some fabulous opportunities while Venus is in Leo moving through your seventh house. Okay, all right. Next, June 11th, Mercury is going direct. It has been retrograde since May 18th. Gosh, I've been saying May 18th and I actually haven't checked. I hope I'm right. <laughs> I've been saying it through all of these videos. Anyways, Mercury going direct is in your fifth house. And that fifth house, again, it represents Leo energy in, on some ways because Leo rules that area. So here we are again. Mercury has been retrograde in the area that is all about what we're passionate about. We we're willing to take risks, risks of the heart, financial risks. Mercury has been retrograde in that area for weeks in the sign of Gemini. Now on June 11th, it's going to move forward. So that just means on June 11th, first off, is a stopping day. It's when it's stationed. And so not much is going to go on on that day. But once we get past June 11th and things start to move forward, then you will be able to redefine some of the things that you've been just thinking about for a while. That retrograde of Mercury in Gemini is all about air, air, air. I'm going to think, think, think. And you're also an air sign. So it has been quite a busy time thinking and contemplating on your own. Now it's time to move the energies out and into the world around us. The new moon on June 16th in Gemini in the same area is all about setting new goals for new adventures, what you're passionate about, what you're creative about, and really digging in and having some fun and really enjoying life. 
and moving forward with that. We have the whole month of June, the rest of the month of June, from the 16th on, to really explore these things and to, to really start setting up where this new moon energy is, new goals, so you can feel really great and passionate and, and really ignite some new passion in your life. I will finish with June 21st. The summer solstice sun moves into the sign of Cancer, into your sixth house, and when it moves into that sixth house, well, it already moves in there. Yeah, when it moves into that sixth house, that's all about focusing in on what your daily routine is, what you love to do on a daily basis. In the sign of Cancer means you will be focusing at home and what is going on at home with those you love and those you care and nurture for and those who do that for you as well. And that is your focus for the summer. All right, thank you very much for watching. Please come find me on the web at nhastrologer.com for your own personal and private sessions. Thank you very much. Classes too. I'll see you soon. Blessed be. Namaste.